Hello, Freunde des Lichts. Welcome to my garage and welcome to the final video of my... Hello, Freunde des Lichts. My name's Sean Heath. Uh, thank you for watching my final video for the Great Guitar Build-Off of 2021. And those clips preceding this, you got to see a little bit of the sculpting going on here. So. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the rest of the build process. If you want to see any of the beginning of it, you can just go up there and, and check out. I don't have a whole lot of time left to go, so we'll see how much time, how much I manage to get done before the competition's time is up. So let's get to it. Enough. Yeah. Turn out Bincrow's method with the sheets of paper to fit the top. Okay, this would have been more sensible to not cut this out first, um, but since I already cut out the frame, um, I'm gonna. Uh, what I did was I laid out the paper so that I had the neck pocket here. I also have the edge of the neck. On the top and bottom here and and here, uh, here <laughs> and here and here. So what we're gonna do is flip this upside down and use those as my reference lines. So I have lines already here that I drew in the last video, but now I'm going to really be lining them up with the paper and using the lines is kind of a second reference but the paper is more important and if this is done correctly then I won't have to do any reworking now, this is going to be hidden for the most part but that doesn't mean that I want it to be sloppy I don't know how clear it is to you viewers why I'm doing this, so I guess it warrants description. I have a height difference between the neck through section and the mahogany wings, so I'm compensating for this difference by routing out this section in the middle. This way I can have a 9mm thick maple top and still fit it underneath the fretboard.
Okay, I got some sheets hung up in my garage here, so let's see how this works. I've never actually painted a guitar before, so wish me luck. This makes me totally freaking nervous. <laughs> So after applying a few coats of paint, that's when I first noticed that I should have probably grain filled the mahogany section. And that's exactly what I did uh, without even taking the paint off. I just filled the pores as they were in the paint and painting over it now.
All right, it's crunch time. I don't have any room for mistakes now. What you want me to do right here in, is a clear coat. It's about 15 minutes after this, I did another clear coat off camera, so you didn't get to see when I whacked the guitar on the garage door here. Check it out. You got a nice fat dent now. I'm going to try some experimental thing here. I haven't seen this or heard anything about it, so I'm just winging it, see if this repair job will work here. So I think in the normal circumstances, you'd want to sand back and reapply the finish. What I'm going to try to do is fill the hole or the, fill the dent with a little bit of super glue and sawdust as a, uh, a base. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know if paint sticks to super glue very well. We'll find out. Oh, looks like it's working. As the Germans would say, bleib geschmeidig, baby. All right, so this is where we're at now. I've got the clear coat on, and I'm gonna stop. At first, I wasn't, you know, I made a mistake or two here or there, and I started to get disheartened and not so stoked on it anymore, but going over the conceptualization of the electronics and everything again, I started to get inspired and excited about playing this guitar again. And I really want it to actually be a nice guitar when I finish <laughs> instead of just something slapped together and rushed so I could meet the deadline by this, the 30th, which is you know today. So. I'm not going to try to get it done on time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my time. And it's not worth the stress <laughs> or the ex uh, extra effort. Um, there's some other things on here, like with the headstock. I wanted to cover up the headstock piece there, um, with make a little headpiece and paint it green as well so it matches the body. Um, when I get done with that, then it'll be done. I don't want to install the electronics and everything just to have to take it all apart again to polish it in a few, couple of weeks when the paint has dried more. So yeah, that's why it's still in tape and everything. Paint's not really fully dry, so I'm taking it easy with it. And yeah. Thanks again and come back. I'll show you the guitar when it's done. Until then, take care.